Hey, hey, happy day. A couple of young men were hiking recently in the wild wilderness of California, and a bobcat attacked them, and one of the boys was killed. That's a terrible tragedy, you know, but when I hike, and I hike a lot uh, in California and other states as well, I'm always armed. I always have a handgun on me because of situations like this. I've seen a lot of animals, big animals, bears and cougars and so on. They've looked at me in turn, but I've never been attacked. But let me tell you, I've been ready. Mm, I don't want to get killed by a bobcat. Now, I wish the government would promote things like that. They don't because they're left-wing wax, but they should. They really should. California spent $22 billion last year to help address the state's homelessness. They estimate there's uh, close to 200,000 people without homes, and it works out to be $121,000 that they spend per person. And this isn't for a cure, by the way. This is kind of like a Band-Aid. $121,000 a year? Wow, that's a big paycheck. And these people don't work. They don't have to work. They're homeless. Why don't you leave them be? They live in a tent. They seem happy. Why are you spending all this money? Where is it going? Mental health and all those things I get, but there's no solution here. Last year was 180,000. Now it's almost 200,000 homeless. So it's not working. And $121,000 a year, I think a lot of taxpayers take exception to that. They say they're homeless. I get it. Don't you? They live in a tent. Leave them alone. I mean, take them a ham sandwich if you want, but 121 grand, wow. Liberals, California liberals as well. Liberals everywhere, particularly in places like Canada and so on. Liberals say that there's a wide range of genders. There's actually two genders and a wide range of mental disorder. Uh, and that's not the homeless people I'm talking about. That would be the uh, politicians. Toronto, Canada. Uh, the mayor there is a raging socialist, and the, most of the council members are as well. Men, socialists have to tax you all of the time. What they do with the money is a bit of a mystery. They send it to other countries and so on. Every place, every town, every country is the same. If you have a socialist in power, they, they're, they can't be satisfied with regards to money. They have to get more of your money all of the time. So in Toronto, they're looking around saying, we've taxed pretty much everything in sight, what's left? And they come up with this astounding new concept. Let's tax the rain. The rain. Hey, they're not smart enough to come out of the rain. I mean, I understand that. But they want to tax the rain. They truly do. And they say, we can do this. A rain tax, uh, you will pay. I mean, it's based on the uh, surface area, hard surface area, and a whole bunch of other words they use here. But it's only one word to describe it, and that's insane total insanity but but they're actually talking about it and a couple of other cities in toronto apparently have done it whereas toronto is saying we're going to do it because it works how does it work it doesn't work it can't work tax the rain i mean they're going to tax your thinking and everything else i mean what do they do with the money that's what taxpayers should say there needs to be a revolt of some kind i gotta say what do you do with the money i mean where is it where does it go i mean then you look at trudeau the prime mistake in canada he was on a vacation here recently to Jamaica. He was gone for one week. It cost him $230,000. That's what it's reported to be. When government reports a number, you know, times two and add a whole bunch to it, but, but, but that's what they're saying. I recently took 16 of my family to Hawaii from all over North America. I didn't spend a fraction of that, not a fraction far less than half. And we didn't live like homeless people. We lived kind of good. So 16 of us versus this uh, clown. Good grief. Lastly, still talking about Canada, uh, Brian Mulroney. He was a prime minister, I think, for two terms. He was a progressive conservative. That's in the old days, and that's what the party was called. Progressive, of course, means left, and conservative means right. So to say those two words together is like saying virgin hooker. It kind of doesn't compute. But he was that person, and I believe he certainly he, he was more progressive i mean he was the liberals like him a lot of liberals like just Trudeau <laughs> because he did what they did he brought in gst and so on and you know there's big scandals under his uh, leadership and all kinds of things 83 percent of canadians uh, said that he did a good job according to this poll i'll bark like a fox if that's true i'd like to see how they asked that question this guy was found with uh, cash in a bag hundreds of thousands of dollars seven or eight years after he brought GST in. And uh, so then he said, oh, you caught me, I'll pay GST on it now, which he did, and a whole bunch of other slick little things. And, and now 83% are saying he's great. Again, let me operate these polls. I can do the questions. Hey, y'all come back, see ya.